everyone, so today I'm gonna make a video about why influencers are poor. <laughs> I'm an influencer myself, so I think I have the rights to speak on this topic. Influencers are poor because of the following reasons. Let me count. One, two, three, four. Three point five, let's just say. Number one, equipment's very, very expensive. So the equipment that I'm recording with right now is the Canon 80D, and this is already like the cheaper cameras out there. This, the body itself is $9.99, and the lens itself, I think it was like 300 something, 400, 300, something like that. So equipment's expensive. The ring light that I have on here, I think it's like around 50 bucks. The two box light I have here is also like, I think 30 bucks or something like that. I will link all these in my info box, so don't worry, you will have access to them if you're an influencer yourself. So equipment's very expensive, that's why influencers are poor. Number two, we don't make that much. So talking about equipment, how expensive it is, maybe for some like people with regular jobs, they might think, oh, like a thousand something, two thousand something, that's not even that much. Think about how much money you make. But influencers actually don't all make that much. Maybe the top, top, top influencers, they charge like thousands just to make one single video, one single sponsored video. But for us, small influencers, small YouTubers, we really don't make that much. And I will show you guys in a separate video what my YouTube paycheck is, but honestly, it is very, very little and it makes me want to cry because I'm spending all these money on equipment and I'm spending all these money on, you know, fancy gear and all that. And I'm only making like maybe a memory stick per two months. So influencers really don't make that much. And there are ways to make yourself earn more as an influencer, but really like it's not that easy. Money doesn't just, you know, come to you and you just wake up with money, like tons of money, mountain of money. That's not how it works. Number three, a lot of influencers, their content requires purchases. So like myself, um, I usually make videos about bags, like expensive bags, like Birkins and Kelly's and Hermes things and Chanel things and Louis Vuitton things. These things freaking cost money. I'm not saying that I buy things just to make these videos. Of course, like I try to buy things only when I'm in love with these things, but in order to create content, I do need designer things. And I've had like a period of time when I'm so busy with work and I stopped buying expensive things and I stopped, you know, showing expensive things on my channel. And I saw my subscriber count go down by a lot. And so not just me, a lot of people who do unboxing, a lot of people who do like, you know, review of electronic stuff, like camera equipment and all that. Those people, they have to buy those things to Review, okay so content needs money content seriously needs money and so that's another reason why influencers are poor it doesn't matter how, like how much they make per month maybe they make like more than the average like minimum wage maybe they let's say they make like six thousand per month which doesn't sound half bad but they have to put money into equipment they have to put money into the content they make and also there are certain things that influencers have to do if they're influencers let's say a studio apartment without roommates because it is super difficult to film with roommates and that's the main reason why I don't have a roommate right now not because I'm super bougie and I only want to live you know on my own and I hate having a roommate that's part of the reason but the other main big reason is because I'm an influencer and it doesn't matter how small of an influencer I am how many subscribers I got like it doesn't matter I'm still an influencer I make videos on YouTube and so it is so 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 difficult to film with a roommate I still remember like when I was still in Big Four accounting, I go home at like, let's say 11 and 12 at night. And so I really want to film, but I know my roommate's asleep. So there is no way that I'm going to turn on my camera and start, you know, making all these rant or loud videos just to annoy my roommate. Like I, there is no way that I can do that. But right now, since I live on my own, I have more flexibility around, you know, making videos. Of course, sometimes cars, neighbors, blah, 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 they're still going to be loud and disrupt my lovely recording sesh, but at least it's better than having a roommate because it's not like, you know, right there. And number 3.5 or number 4 it is lack of money managing skills. So a lot of YouTubers, especially the ones that are super big, a lot of them like drop out of like formal education or a lot of them are not in the fields of like finance or uh, accounting or things like that. So it is like very, very normal, not just for them, but for like just a regular, like normal person who's not into finance and accounting and money managing for them to not have that much money managing skills. And especially for people who, you know, come from zero to let's say 10,000 or um, 1 million. For people like that, they really don't have the formal education or they don't have any education 
education about managing money. It's very normal for them to not have a lot of money managing skills. So that's like number like 3.5 or 4 because that doesn't apply to everyone obviously, but it is still a reason why some influencers are poor or some influencers say that they're poor because yeah, there is a lot of spending, not enough earning, so that's why that's why some of us are poor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I also have a lot of ways where you can get free money in my info box. Be sure to check those out and I will see you next time. Bye!